Good morning. Welcome back to the Signature Movement. It's your girl, Tanya D. Floyd. <laughs> and I know I look crazy right now, but I'm uh, going through something right now. See, I, um, I had one of my episodes. Here we go with the Minerva, Chron Minerva Chronicles. Had an episode where my whole body just swelled up for about two or three days. It was painful. It was like, um, I have it often, like at least once a month. I have it, but I still don't know what it is. Um, yeah, literally. My feet and ankles were swollen. I could feel the fluid in my legs. It was like not cool. My arms were swollen. Not like you could look at me and tell like I'm the Michelin man, but every piece of my body inside knew that it was just inflamed. And my knees and my but you know I'm back see I can see my ankles again and my feet feel fine and even though my knees always gonna hurt because my knees always hurt see crack 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 pop 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 you hear that mm, yeah even though it's gonna keep doing that I felt just the the tightness everywhere and clothes hurt that's how I know when it when it happens when my clothes hurt me <laughs> so I can't really put on certain things I have to wear stretchy things that are a little bit oversized because everything else is just way uncomfortable and bras threaten to cut off all my circulation and um like they really squeeze me to death so yeah i just went through that thing for a couple of days but i'm back and um this morning i decided i was gonna wake up and wash my hair because i had like maybe about a month's worth of you know how the dead hair detaches but if you don't comb or brush your hair every single day all the time and keep it in a bun like I do then you know it gets a little tangly so I washed my hair because I had the courage to do so and I felt better and um I'm going through this ritual I've been on YouTube trying to find ways to style my own hair because I mean I used to do it years and years and years ago I used to do it all the time but I was under the impression well, I was getting perms back then, so, you know, my hair would just wash, blow dry, curl, whatever, and do, do what I told it to do, but it was all a texture that was fake because it was permed. Well, I've been natural since, God, I don't even remember, like 20-some 20, 20 years I've been natural, but not natural like just walking around with my natural texture evident. I've been natural in a sense that I didn't use chemicals. I use color. Psh, boom, you know I I guess my colors, but my cousin is my stylist. So, you know, we just wash, blow dry, flat iron, whatever we do to it, but nothing else. I did try a couple of times the, um, what do you call it? Oh God, the keratin treatments that take the frizz away and make your hair like really, really silky and everything. But I realized that every time I would start to sweat, my hair would like stick together. It was like glue. So I would have to get the oil and the brush and retrain it, you know, for a couple of days after that tangle situation. And then with Minerva on the run, you know, I sweat all the time. So I ain't trying to do that no more. So I stopped getting that. So I just been like out here trying to figure it out, right? I go to her, she straighten it out and, you know, flat iron it or bend it or whatever. My hair, let me tell you, my texture is so good to, for me. It does literally anything I tell it to do except curl up when it's wet. <laughs> I can't wash and go like normal people. Mine gets really, really frizzy and bushy. And I realized at the age of 51 why that is. I didn't really come here to talk about my hair, but let's talk about it because it's a thing. I realized at age 51 that um, I don't have hair like my friends and family and ancestors. Well, not, not the ancestors you would think. I have hair like my mother's ancestors who include the Caucasians. Um, I was literally walking around my whole life thinking, I mean, I didn't know about the twos and the threes and the fours and the textures and everything, but now I know I used to believe I was in the fours or later on, you know, when I started trying to wet and go my hair, I thought I was in the threes. 
but I'm not. I don't have curly hair. I don't have curly or coily hair. I have wavy hair. And wavy hair behaves totally differently than curly hair. I used to get so mad, like, what product am I using? Am I brushing it out too much? What am I doing during the wash? Did my curls just won't do the thing? My daughter, beautiful three. 3B, probably. Yeah, that thing's silky, nice. She washed that hair, them curls be popping, okay? Every coil, obvious. Each one individually, independently, and together, they be rocking, okay? Thing is bomb. My grandson's hair, I have learned, is more like um, his mother's, but he has a tendency to have dry hair. So we gotta be really careful what we're doing. I've been experimenting with us since 51. I learned what my thing is. So anyway, he's a 3 2, but he's probably like a 3 C. His curls are tighter than his mother's, and they, they, yeah, like again, they get dry. So we have to use things to keep it moistened and we can't go too long without, you know, treating it or taking care of it. You can't just like go a week without doing something to it because it'll just look really, really dry and really, really tough. But it's not. It's very nice curly hair. So anyway, I got into this thing because I couldn't figure out what to do with mine. So now I know what to do with everybody's. Except mine, still. I'm having problems. But uh, <laughs> I realized at 51 that I am a 2C. So that is like, it's a wave, but my wave comes with a combo. Ain't nobody out there like me. How about that? Let's say that. Because I scrolled and surfed, and all of the people in the twos, a lot lighter than me. Named Jennifer and Jessica and stuff. But um, they couldn't help me because the things they were doing, they got that, they have more of a, a 2A wave where it's like just a, a gentle bend in it. And some of them are 2Bs where the gentle bend, if you treat it right and, you know, wash it, it'll just draw up slightly into a nice bouncy type of curly look, but it's not a coil. It don't boing, 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 you know, that tight S bounce back thing. It's a long, nice, curly, it, it's You'll see it if you go look. But anyway, I am 2C based on my research. Um, it is, so you can see my hair when it grows out of my scalp, it looks kind of wavy. It looks not curly at all, right? Kind of straight-ish, kind of frizzish. But you can see just the little, the little, S situation going on and then when I was doing my leave-in conditioner I just twisted it up like this so I could um do the other sections without all being a frizzy mess and then I found that I've been watching this on in Instagram for a long time but Tracy Ellis Ross thank you for pattern beauty because look here when I shampooed my hair on this hair day, with this girl right here, it just felt like it was saying thank you. It didn't feel hard or oily or it just felt so soft and refreshed when I washed it, right? And then... I used it all up, but she gave me, when I ordered it, I got this sample of a intensive conditioner. It is so super thick, like, um, not like mayonnaise thick, but it's like, um, oh God, what is it? It's real, real, real thick and heavy, like, it's like a paste almost. So I put that on in the shower, and then I left that, and I brushed through all the tangle parts while I was, you know, doing that piece. And all the dead hairs came out, and I was back to my normal self. But in the back here, I noticed it draws up a little bit more than in the front. So I got a little bit of a curly situation in the back. And I got a seriously uncurly wavy situation in the front. So 2C combo, <laughs> one-two punch. Anyway, yeah, I used the leave-in conditioner. Look like this. 
and I used my detangler brush while it was wet and I got through all that and then I was like I don't know what to do so yeah I did these so that's why I look crazy right now and then I had found this at Target right Camille Rose Honey Hydrate I like how it feels let me tell you it, it, it was doing something for my hands you know my hands are usually crusty but while I was putting it on my hair I said hey let's rub it in my hands too so it's doing some things for some moisture for my hands so it must be moisturizing for my hair too right that's what i was thinking so then i came here and i was like it's still wet and i probably shouldn't take it loose but i gotta go outside i can't go outside looking like this so what do i do so let's get this loose and see what happens lord i gotta pretend curl my hair but again i gotta go out of here so i gotta do what i gotta do but I do want to have a um, conversation with you about you're never too old to learn new things and you're definitely not too old to learn new things about yourself. So if you find that you are not exactly what you thought you were or you can't do things you thought you naturally should be able to do. Or whatever your, you know, your conundrum might be, just know that 51-year-old Tanya Floyd just figured out that she ain't got black hair. And she don't know what to do with the not black hair she do got. So, yeah. My ancestors were a mixture of things. I know for a fact. I mean, I'm going to take the test, though. Because, like, I don't like not knowing. If it make any sense. So, my grandmother is the product, or was the product of, my mother's mother, was the product of Native American parents. Two of them. Um, I never met my grandmother's father, but I, I know her mother. I met her. I knew her. I used to hang out with them when I was young. Uh-oh, I got me a tango. Lord help. Every time I turn around. These ends, I, I probably should have trimmed my ends before um, I left the chair last time I went to the salon. But again, it's been about a month since I was there, so anything could have happened. And, you know, bunning it up didn't help. But anyway, my grandmother's parents were Native American. My grandfather was the product of a black mother in the South and a not white father who was never identified or acknowledged. He used to skirt that issue, run from it. <laughs> you ask him about his parents, he would tell you everything he knew about his mother and his brothers and his sisters and um, sometimes his brothers and sisters were not kind to him because he was different. Um, they they knew some stuff that we don't know, but they all gone, so can't ask them either. But yeah, um, my grandfather's father is a mystery. And I want to do the test so I can find the secrets to that mystery. Just because I want to know. Like, I have had a problem. This is the first time I'm ever saying this, but I have had a problem for several years about the fact that I do not know about that side of me. Um, even though I know my grandmother's parents were Native American, I would like to know all the stuff. You know what I'm saying? I would like to know. I want to know. I can't even say more than that. I just do. And I don't know if that needs a further explanation. I just want to know. And I definitely have curiosity about my grandfather's people because I know that the okay my mother always makes this joke about the Caucasian woman inside of her because she has these health things going on that are traditionally um not black things going on like this osteopenia and uh some other thing but then, you know, some of my relatives have developed rosacea in their old age, too. So, that ain't a black thing, either. But, um, 
<laughs> yeah, it's a lot of um, who's the Caucasians and where were they from and um, not that I want to go grab a hold of the Caucasianness and be like, hey, I'm your long lost. No, it's not that. But I want to know how far back this goes. I want to know why my grandfather felt the need to just bottle that part of himself up and never, ever, ever let it out. Like, what was so terrible? <laughs> what did you, I mean, we all got some of that, you know, down south thing going on. What, 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 <laughs> what happened? What your mama do? <laughs> so yeah, that, but yeah, he was different. And he said, brothers and sisters used to call him this very, very derogatory thing that I will not repeat here. But yeah, um, I got some things, several of them, and I would like to know about all the several things that belong to me, because they belong to me. And I would like to know how I ended up with hair that's not exactly curly, but can be very, very frizzy, and um, how I'm supposed to take care of it, because what I didn't say was Minerva, the gift that keeps on giving gave me the need to not wash blow dry and flat iron my hair no more because I just keep sweating it out every time and I keep getting these nasty tangles because when I do all the sweating I can't comb and brush it while I'm out and about and it gets you know coil not coily but it gets all raveled up together because of the frizzness so when it comes out of my head, it comes out nice and deep wave. Anytime I put it in the bun and I tie it up and I go for days and days and days, I got deep waves going on. But they never, see, look at this. See how it just hangs there? It never curls, curls. It doesn't retract. It just does this and it hangs there like that. That's all I get. Ain't no bounce back to that. See how it just, yeah, that. So, I got waves. I ain't got no curls. But it's all good. I just want to know what's up with my peoples and um, how to make it not be. I probably shouldn't do this if I don't want it to be frizzy, but I want it to be a certain shape. I just can't be out here looking like anything. I need some help. Who? I, need, I need some help. And I need some answers. But that's all. I am. Um, Woke up and menopause had had its way with me and I'm going to go find some kind of, I don't know, something to help me go out here and look human while I figure this all out. You might have some answers. Give me the an answer. Yeah, this, this is all I'm getting. Ain't no, ain't no curls. It's this. It's not bad. I'm not. I'm not judging it. I'm. I'm trying to understand it. Okay, my people. I. I would like to know. Yeah. That's that. Um. Y'all go have a great day. And um. Yeah. I hope you find out who you are, and you know, get those answers about those things that you're learning about yourself that give you trouble. Or make you feel insecure, or make you feel um, unsure, or whatever. They they give you pause. I, I want you to find the answers to those things. Oh, what we think? I probably should have did this while my hair was wet before I put it in a twist. But I like this stuff. It don't really hold, but it probably helps to define the curl or the wave. Like, I just put some on at the end around these edges that I'm going to sweat out anyway. It ain't doing nothing. But I like how it feels. It's very lightweight. And again, I think it just helps to define because it, it, it's holding this piece nicely. I like what it's doing right there. Mm. Yeah, but it's not hard and crusty. Uh, again, next time, I think I'm going to put this on before I twist it and see if it helps me hold the style when it's all the way dry dry. Meanwhile, uh, probably futile, but 
I'm getting me some powder because I'm tired of being shy. Dude, don't come in here all naked. They didn't talk about how I show your boobs on the video. We about to go outside. Let's go. You knew I was getting dressed. You heard me. You can stay here. It's not a problem. Have a nice day. Okay. I'm going outside.